It has become a lost art, and I am fully determined to restore it back to its rightful place. Letter writing. When I was in middle school, I had over 20 pen pals in different cities across the U.S. and in other countries. It was so thrilling to me to receive a letter in the mail from people I had never met. Yet we had so much in common. We had a love for receiving letters and writing letters. Throughout the years, I've written letters to my friends, to my family members, to my parents, to myself. And it's always so exciting to write a letter, to share your thoughts with someone, but also to receive a letter and see others share their thoughts with you. A couple of years ago, I had a chance to take an enrichment course, and one of the assignments was to write a letter to our future selves. And the teacher said she would mail it a year from that date. She ended up mailing it three years from that date. So when I received the letter, I saw that it was written in my handwriting and addressed to me, and I had forgotten all about writing that letter in the first place. When I opened it up and I read it, I got a chance to see where my mindset was when I had written the letter and how I was thinking and what I had been thinking about when I received the letter. So it's pretty cool. Throughout the years, I've written letters to my friends, to my family members, to my parents, to myself. And as I strive to restore this lost art of letter writing, I challenge you to join me in writing a letter to someone, whether it's a friend, a family member, your parents, or even to yourself. If you write it to yourself, write it for a month from now, six months from now, a year from now. Have someone else mail it to you, mail it to yourself, or put it in a shoebox and open it at the given time. Join me in restoring the lost art of letter writing.